Welcome back, everybody. Another episode of Zim's Beer Review. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. As you can see over my shoulder over here, we are doing another Rogue Brewery beer. If you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you might have a good idea that Rogue is one of my favorite breweries. I think they make some of the best beer around. Um, and I'm a little biased because, heck, they're from Oregon. I'm from Oregon, and I like their stuff. And I can get it in Wyoming, which is a big part of it. Um, Rogue Brewery, of course, like I said, is from Oregon. They're from Newport, Oregon, which is on the Oregon coast, kind of in between. I mean, it's north of Florence. If you know where Eugene and Portland are, right, middle and north, and they're straight across in the middle on the Oregon coast. Uh, Newport, Oregon, they have their brewery there. They have a restaurant there. I've mentioned it before. They have some of the best food at the restaurant that I've ever had. There was a, I think it was a salmon melt. Oh my gosh. We're not doing a salmon melt beer review or Zim's salmon melt review. So I encourage you to go try it. But anyways, we're doing Rogue Breweries Out of Line West Coast IPA. If you're unfamiliar with what a West Coast IPA is, as opposed to just an IPA, a uh, West Coast IPA are generally very clear in color, less hazy. Um, they also tend to have very aromatic fruit notes to them. Uh, fruit and floral up front, very, very potent with that hop characteristic. Then they tend to finish dry so that you can get more of the hop flavor. Um, but really, it's just a style of IPA that they've coined West Coast. Really... Um, that's kind of, those were, the, I'd say, the main things that make up a West Coast IPA. Very floral in color, or floral in scent, I should say, sorry. We're opening up the Out of Line West Coast IPA. This is 6.9% uh, alcohol by volume. Wow, very gold. Try and get this. Man, it just doesn't show up as well uh, on the camera as it does in person. Trust me. Whoa. Whoa. Trust me when I say this is very deep gold in color. It almost looks too dark on stream, but I'm telling you it's very gold in color here. I'm going to sit this down. Okay, get that out of our way. Um, Rogue Brewery, like I said, is in Newport, Oregon. We're going to give this a shot before we go to their website here. Ooh, very aromatic. Very, uh, very floral. Fruity. Very fruity on the nose. I'm getting lots of... Ooh, like tart tartness, almost like a sweet tart. Not the candy. Um, the two flavors, though. Sweet tart in flavor, I'd say like a... Like some mango orange, maybe. Like a... What's that? A, um, tangerine a little bit very fruity very fruity on the nose and in the in the flavor but it does finish very bitter if you remember a few weeks back we had a crowd pleaser by three creeks brewing and it was very similar it had that fruity floral piney scent but it finished dry at the time i didn't even consider it but it was probably it was probably a West Coast IPA style that they've, um, Rogue specifically, has just called out on their can. But a very similar flavor profile. I'd say this one is a little bit more bitter, where Crowd Pleaser was a little bit more dry. Um, I'd say between the two, I mean, why not compare them? I think the dryness I, I prefer over the bitterness. Um, this one is just a little too bitter for me on the back end. Um, although those really fruity notes up front do help make up for it. It's a good beer. I do enjoy it. This is another one you're just going to want to sip on. Um, sitting on the, sitting in the sun on the back porch, this would be fantastic. Iced mug, man telling you what um, before we move to the website preview i would like to encourage everybody to subscribe to the channel helps me out immensely if you guys check it out hit subscribe if there's a the little bell notification click it it'll let you guys know when i have a new video up and it, it just helps it helps everybody out you get my reviews quicker and i get the benefit 
of having you guys get to see my content, which is really the only reason that I do this, is so that you guys can see some beer reviews of beers that maybe you don't get to try wherever you may be. So that's what I'm trying to do. If you have questions, comments, concerns, I hope not, questions, whatever, leave them down below, send me an email, shoot me a message, whatever it is. All right, we're going to go to the website preview for Rogue. So, rogue.com. Rogue.com is their website. This is their beer page. Um, I've had multiple Rogue beers on the page before, so I'm not going to go through everything. If you're not familiar with Rogue, I'd say Dead Guy Ale is probably the one that you know best. Um, this is their this is their mainstay. Um, they have this just about everywhere. It's on tap. It's in cans. It's uh, in bombers, which is like what I think a 22 ounce bottle. They kind of got everything. This is the out of line IPA that we're doing today. Uh, the can, they must have changed because the can picture that I was able to find actually is a little bit different in color, but similar. So this is, um, yeah, West Coast IPA right here. Very tropical, very citrusy. I like that Rogue does this little star version. A star is right in Rogue's name. So you can see in the middle of the O. So I think it's very handy that they show their flavor profiles in this manner. It really does help, especially for people who don't know um, what kind of beer they want to buy or, or what it's going to taste like. This right here, they actually put right onto the can. So when you're in the store about to buy this, you can just check this out. Maybe you don't prefer the bitterness. Maybe you want more pine notes. Maybe you want more citrus. Whatever it may be, they kind of just show you right on the can, hey, here's what you're getting yourself into. And you can really dial in what you like because you can use this in two ways. See, you can, you can know what you like and pick them out based on the little star symbol depiction on the can. Or you can go crazy and just buy some rogue beers, try them all, see what you like, and you might not have any idea what tropical notes taste like, what citrus is, what's malt. Well, I mean, what does malt taste like when you taste it? I mean, in you know, beginners into this may not have any idea what that's going to taste like. And this really does help because they can buy a beer, taste it, say, ooh, I like that. That's a good tasting beer to me, but I don't know why I like it. Now they can look here and say, oh, I like it because... It has tropical notes and citrus notes or whatever it may be. Maybe it's malty and they don't know that they like malty beers, but hey, they just tried one and it was malty and now they know that they like that. So this I think is a super handy little tool that Rogue puts out. Um, so I encourage you to check out their their cans if you're ever in the store. You can get an idea of what their beer is going to taste like just based on this right here. Um, and it can really dial in your flavor profiles and what you like what you should stick to based on your, you know, likes and dislikes. So I think that's pretty handy. Um, I'm going to continue drinking on this beer as we uh, wrap this thing up. But thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. I really sincerely enjoy making these for you, and I hope that you enjoy watching them. If you have any comments, questions, critiques, um, whatever it may be, constructive criticism, I encourage you to uh, – leave a comment below. I'm always open to, to comments and I'm always trying to make the channel better for you guys. Cause like I said, that's kind of why I do this. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. Cheers. And as always have a beer.